Alrighty. So, a guy I know at work um, was telling me his PS3 was having problems and he heard that I uh, like the fixed old console, so, you know, he uh, let me have a look at it. But he basically told me that it didn't play games, so I was figuring the laser was just dirty or something. But I quickly found out, so if I try to insert a game here, it turns on because it senses there's a disc, but the motor doesn't seem to be functioning at all to pull this in. So I have taken this apart, and I actually um, just manually like put the CD in and put the uh, uh, the magnet back on it and set it in place, and it wasn't spinning or anything. So. Yeah, it so looks like there's something wrong with the motor, so I'm gonna take it apart again and take a closer look and see if I can figure anything out here. So here's where we're at right now. I took this apart. I uh, got an idea of how the gearing and stuff works and pulls the disc in and pushes it out. So all of that should be reset in this, but still doing the same thing. Doesn't suck the disc in. Initially, I hear a clicking noise when I try to put a disc in. See if you can hear that on camera here. Yeah, you can kind of hear a little bit. But, so initially I just figured the motor wasn't working. But let me, uh, let me uh, cut to this next scene. Let me adjust this a bit and I'll show you why I know it is working. Alright, so I just had to lift this up so I can load the disc in manually with the gears here. So slide it in, then once that slides in, the tray will pop up and load the disc up. Okay, so it should be set right there. Let's get on this side. So the CD is set. Normally, this should just play the CD should just play once you turn the PlayStation on. So it's going to power down here. Okay. Yeah, so the motor is working for these gears. It just isn't doing what it should be doing. It just kind of lowers the tray and then pops it back up. Instead of spin the disc out or something else. I haven't actually seen this uh, drive spin the disc or try to read it at all yet. So my guess is that it has something to do with a problem on the logic board. Or maybe the, um, the sensor here. Maybe there's something wrong with these. There's a short somewhere I'm guessing. But... I do have another drive that's pretty much the exact same uh, model as this one. So I think I'm going to take this apart and just swap out some parts and try and narrow the problem down more. Also, just, just for reference, I actually have hooked this drive up and it does work correctly. So I know the problem is limited to the drive. So I'm just going to mess around a little bit more and see what I can figure out. Alright, so I was in the middle of taking these apart to start switching out some components and I did notice something very um, interesting. So this is the drive that works. Notice how easily this will slide back and forth here. This is the one that's not working. Yeah, uh, a little tougher. Just a little. A lot. This is horrible. So... I noticed this when I was messing around with it at first. I thought that's just might ha ha how they are, maybe. Um, but it's obviously not the case. So, oh, um, I would gander. This has something to do with it. And I'm not exactly sure if that's something I would be able to fix or not. I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. So, yeah. I don't know, this drive might just be up shit creek. I'll take it apart a little more and take a look, see if I can get that smoother there. Alright, um, 
so after my little discovery in the last clip I took the drives apart a bit further and to my surprise you can actually remove just this motor pretty easily this is the good one from the good drive this is a bad one this one like doesn't want to rotate at all there's a lot of resistance yeah yeah this thing looks shot so uh, that's probably the issue that makes sense too because the so when I started the PlayStation with the disc in, it would like it would sit in there a few seconds, pop down and up. That's probably because it was trying to like move the laser around. It couldn't do it, so it would pop it up. So yeah, that that kind of makes sense with that. Um, so I'm going to put the good one, good one in this now. This is the bad drive. And we'll see if that fixes it. Alright, just got that motor switched out. So, I uh, haven't tested it at all, so let's see what happens now. Oh, okay, it took the disc. Well, looks like it might be working. Got the TV turned on here. See if it reads it alright. Uh, looking at the CD, it doesn't look like um, it's having any trouble reading it or anything. Uh, crap, let me grab a controller. Got one right here. Okay. Uh, sure, whatever. So I'll make sure I can read the disc now. Uh, yeah, that's the game. Yeah, I can hear it reading it there. Yeah, it looks like it's good. See a video play here. Yeah, it looks good to me. Cool. So it looked like it was just a bad motor. So I guess to finish off the video, here's all the working dry stuff. And here's the bad motor. So I guess I'll uh, try to find a replacement part for this and get a part number just to finish this off, but uh, that should be just about it, at least for the fix, so yeah. Alright, and here we have a replacement part. Looks like the exact same one to me. So yeah, that would do it. Six bucks a pop, not too shabby, but um, yeah, basically I you end up looking for um, laser motor for PS3 and you can eventually find these. I guess this is technically called a stepper motor but I wasn't having much luck looking that up. So yeah a little finagling and you should be able to locate these. There are different versions depending on the PS3 you have. Like here's another one with a longer cable and yeah these uh these holes in the metal here are like separated differently so yeah if you actually need to replace this just make sure you get the right one and probably the best way to do that is just to compare yours to a picture so yeah for me I just I saw this one I put this up to it I'm like oh yeah that's the same one so yeah, that's probably what you're going to have to do because this doesn't really have a part number on it. This this isn't a part number here. It looks like something from the factory uh, for a lot or something. But yeah, that's going to wrap this video up, so uh, good luck.